good news is the numbers are fairly low. It's actually a rather rare cancer. About 8,500 cases a year occur, and sadly, 400 people a year die. Urologist Dr. Barry Blitz says testicular cancer is typically quick to find and optimistic to treat. What's been really amazing about testicular cancer is how it's gone from a very dangerous disease many years ago to one that is still dangerous but is cured um, more than 95% of the time. He encourages patients to do regular self-exams and talk to their doctor if they notice any changes. Self-exam starts after puberty and it really should go on after age 40. If ever there's a change in the findings on someone's testicles, they should be seen. Studies show white men with a family history are at a higher risk for developing testicular cancer. But if it's caught early, doctors say the survival rate is also high. Most of the time, surgery alone just to remove the testicle is good enough, but there are treatments that require radiation, surgery, and more aggressive sorts of um, chemotherapy as well. Making it important not to ignore any new symptoms. We usually use ultrasounds not even CAT scans for the initial evaluation. And if it shows that there's a solid mass in the testicle, then what we'll do is we'll draw some lab work and go to the operating room and we'll remove just that one testicle. Being in tune with your body and talking to your doctor is important to lowering your risk for testicular cancer. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Morton.